Friends, uh, good morning. <laughs> so, a uh, few things. My boy took his 201 to camp, and all, all his buddies were like, okay, where'd you get that bar? He gave him his saw to test. One of the guys was like, dude, like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway... He loved this saw. He ran it for 14 days straight, eight to 10 trees a day. They're in big, they're, they're logging out, they're single stemming. He had a great shift. He freaking loves this. The boys were asking him, what the hell, so, the sound, and, and just rips off. With this muffler mod that I did in the last, I think it was a couple of videos, it's a different saw again <laughs> from what Hogan's running. It's actually, it runs better than that. So, good job, and I'm excited. But what I want to check is a couple things. Listen, I want to address something, friends. I, I get asked this a lot, and I know there's a simple, there's a simple thing out there. Right, friends? Um, it, it, it's, it's the long bar, the long bar, short bar thing. Um... Listen, there's one word for this, okay? And, and, I, and I, don't, I don't play and get into this game uh, of, of the internet kibitzing about it. It's not, I don't do that. I'm, I'm intelligent enough to know it's strictly where you're from and what you were taught. You are a sum of your past experiences. If someone taught you to use a short bar and bore cut trees your whole life, then that's what you do. It's not a bad thing. It does, just because I run a longer bar than you doesn't make you less of a man. Friends, I'm seeing and hearing, and I've been hearing this stuff for years, and it, to me, it, it's very unintelligent. And I won't, I won't go down that road, okay? More than I just did. I think that's the most I've ever said of it. I teach people to stand up and buck because it's what we do here. We come from this genre. Big timber, uh, also small wood. We, we don't fall a tree and then run down to the pickup truck and grab a smaller bar to limb the tree with or cut small firewood with. The reason I run a long bar is because the wood is small as well. If I had wood like this in a pile, I would run a 32 inch, friends, look. I, I got asked by, uh, uh, Michael asked me this. Michael, how are you doing today, buddy? Um, he, here are my saws. Um, I don't own short bars is what I'm saying to you. I, I don't own them. 32, 32, 32, 32. Uh, I think that's, the, uh, actually, that's a 28 on that. Uh, and that's a short bar for me. 28 is short bar. That, that's what a short bar is to me. 32, 32, 32, 32, 36, 36, 36. It's just what we do, <laughs> friends. It's what we do. I don't bend over to cut stuff if, if I don't. If I, if I can, if I got a log that's big enough to, to slap into a, a, a stem or it's at waist height or even on the ground, but it's big, I'll use the dogs. It's what they're there for. So, <laughs> so but Michael, you, you sent me an email and, and his question was, what entails what or like what's the decision what i forget how you worded it michael but <laughs> so <laughs> that one i heard the other day from a from a dear dear friend of mine no matter no facts no evidence will convince you of the truth you do not want to hear that's powerful stuff friends that is powerful. Think about that, what I just said for a second. <laughs> it's personal preference. If you want to learn a different cutting style from, right? That's all it is. It's personal, Michael. I just read your email again because I want to answer the, the question properly. You said, when is it necessary or when, do, when does it need necessary CCs and all that? Well, that, that, it's just, it's a different cutting style, brother. It is. It is a different cutting style than what you're used to. So the questions are great, Michael. I sure appreciate them. Uh, but it is personal. So do you know what I mean, buddy? 
So a 500i, you just got a 500i from Ripsaw, you can run a 36 on that if you want. But I would suggest a 32 inch bar. That's what I suggest. So, but that's personal, brother. That that's up to you. I, I wouldn't run anything anything less than a 32 on on the 500, especially that freaking ripsaw one. Uh, so yeah, I, I I don't have any. It's a preference. That's all. You can bend over, or you can stand up and get and learn a different a different system. That's all. That's just a different system. I hope this helps, Michael, because I don't I don't. I'm not articulate in this way. That's just what we do. Homeowners, I don't know what homeowners do. Probably short bar. It, 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 everything, I, I just, I have, they're 32, 28 to 32 to 36. That's what I run. That's what everybody runs here. Um, it's a style of cotton that is what it is. I, I, I wanted to address this because I get asked this all the time. There, there'll be people, um, the professional cutters don't ask because I think, I think most professional cutters understand it's just that thing. It's just a geological or what do you call it? Ge geographical. geographical. Thanks, babe. It's just a geographical thing. So I spent the last five minutes blabbing where I could have just said this. It's geographical. That's all it is. It's geographical. There's no more to be said, but I do a good job of lengthening things out because I'm a rambler. That's why some folks are here, believe it or not. Speaking of that, my last video, I, I showed some pruning in here, okay? We absolutely love our privacy in here. Those, all those trees except that for all. Okay, friends, like I'm on fire right now, all right? I, I just am, I'm, I'm, I'm a content ma maniac <laughs> and I just, whatever. Let me know, you saw my pruning video on the maple. I know there's folks that like that and appreciate that. I have another video of me pruning and how I actually, you know what I mean, did it. In, in proper pruning techniques and how you don't, if something's in your face and you're mowing your lawn, you don't have to run back to the source and make a stub and just whack it off. <gasps> Even your neighbor's trees that are coming in, there's a way to do this. If you're interested in learning about proper pruning, I do a little of the pruning on the pruning of the trees on this one. Let me know in the comments. All that foliage right there, except for that fir tree. So back to the long bar. And Ripsaw, I want to talk about Ripsaw for, for just, I know I've been going off about these boys, but friends, <laughs> as you know, I get a lot of, I mean, Iron Horse has been my guy and Tin Man, really. And of course, Donnie Walker. I, I'm happy for these fellas and, and proud of them, actually, Eric and, and you, you boys. But but I, I don't want to go off like that too much because you guys always hear me talk about them. But, but I do want to talk about this saw and this muffler mod I did in this saw because I felt a bit of heat coming up in, in this area on this saw and I don't know maybe if a holes pop through our weld or maybe we didn't get so I just want to check it so I'm going to pop that off and have Good a look at gracious it. wow you guys usually use guns eh you guys use guns when I do exhaust friends I don't do just one all the way out I crack them both and then feed them out like this okay that's what I do now that they're both cracked, I uh, I bring them all the way out. I was bored into that yellow cedar, just give it her. No. Nope. No. It's not. It's not the muffler. <laughs> They just get hot right there. There's, isn't that, look at that. Way up there, so there's no, no. Isn't that interesting? But it is a absolute freaking screamer, this saw now. And friends, I, uh, so Michael, I hope that helps. It, it, it's a different cutting style, brother. It's a 100% different cutting style. You either stand up and buck or you don't. There's no really, uh, is it, you know what I mean? Like, like it, it's east and, and west kind of thing, I, I guess. I don't know, but, but there's, it's a different cutting style. I've had people email me and I, and I will continue to, to, to share this with people 
But none of this happens for you unless you learn how to file your power saw. Oh, I will tell you that right now. You'll get frustrated with a long bar quite quickly because you need your sharp, sharp chain and your raker set at the proper height. I, I was watching, actually I was a little surprised, I'll be honest, I was watching a, a, a professional faller and, 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 and his chain was chattering and jumping all over the place. And, and then I heard him say in the video that he just does it by eye. He does his rakers by eye. Well, that's why. And, and I did it like that for years too, friends. I did. And I thought I, I thought I was rocking and rolling until I got onto bear claw and, 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 a, and a raker gauge and that. And you can live your whole life jackhammer and wood like that. But smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. It's that simple. It just is. And it's easier on the body. So everybody does what they do and that's what they do. And there's no amount of truth or evidence that will make you hear the truth you don't want to hear. Yeah. So we all know that. I run 32 inch, 30, that's what I run. And that's all I run. It's Friday, it's sunny. Oh, friends, look at, my wife's giving our garden some beautiful water. <laughs> and we're very tickled with what went on here. Oh, look at that guy, he's just ripping. Holy smokes, babe. Yeah, it kinda is, isn't it? Wow, beautiful day. Me and my wife are taking a, a, a a little day here to go and hang out together with some friends of hers she grew up with and uh, in their condo and we're excited so I just wanted to get something out I may shoot you guys over a little bit of stuff from from there but really it's kind of a getaway for me and my wife so uh, that's most important to me really you guys are important but not as important as, as she is I'll, I'll be quite frank with you be honest with you <laughs> anyways I love you guys and I love my YouTube channel and, and I, I, I love my, my direction that, that, that this channel is going. And I want to thank YouTube again for, for every opportunity and, and anything that has ever come my way. I've, I've just chosen, I've chosen to be a, a kind of a long form character. I, I, I have my, my reasons. I do do short videos. I, I, YouTube does like that and, and it's their platform. So I do do some short videos, but I built this community on long form this right here eric one two three how are you doing brother hey this is how i built this freaking thing and i will not stop i almost get goosebumps when i talk about this because i take this i feel like swearing but i'm not going to i take this very serious my you know when you get you, you get you get passionate and serious your your cheeks right here start buzzing and you get the goosebumps well i got the goosebumps because this has changed my life and I take it very seriously. And I take people like Ripsaw extremely seriously because I am I talk about them. And I'm getting feedback from people that have got their saws, uh, Michael being one of them, they're flipping, they're doing backflips. They're like, oh, I see why you like these fellas and these saws. So that makes me proud inside and, and happy because I, I can't have it any other way. I can't have it any other way. And they're good guys to boot, which is super cool. So uh, I'm going to go in here and play around, but I just want to make up a little something for you guys uh, before I take off here. It's Friday. I hope you're all doing well. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Catch you on the next one. I'll leave the link in the description for these boys. They're busy, friends. And uh, if you're looking for a little little tree saw for your business or even the fallen saws, they're freaking, <laughs> they're 500s. I think they're sending, their 500 is wicked, but I think they're sending me a, a 572. It's gonna sound crazy, but I kind of, I knew this was coming, friends. I, I did, I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was coming this quick. 
And do you folks remember when I, Donnie Walker and I, did that little test out the back with the 462 and the 572, that one, and I think an Echo. And uh, the 572 murdered the other saws. And I got very excited because I'm a Husky guy, friends. I am, but I always give kudos to whoever's building a good saw. Echo, I like their small saws and their trimmers. I do. I, 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 I don't like their bigger saws. I'll be honest. I don't like the ergonomics of them. Uh, the new bar with the Husky, how it comes out, they've, they've changed that a little bit. It changes the balance. It's different. It's something I'll have to get used to because I'm used to the old school one. But when it comes, I'm going to have the opportunity to do that. Ripsaw, thank you. Um, and you know what we're talking about doing? This thing's nuts with that pipe. Nuts. We all know this pipe. Deadly. Mark's got another one coming. So there's some cool stuff happening. But uh, you know you know what I want to do? I want to make sure this muffler is good. And I think we're uh, Ripsaw and I are talking about doing a collab, kind of like a, a buccanized Ripsaw 201 with the muffler that I came up with, which just bettered the saw. I just did. And uh, a couple other little tweaks. And uh, some dogs, which I believe Eric is probably looking into fairly quickly. So it's going to be a good little combo. Anyways, enough Ramblinskis. Love yous. Over and out, friends. It's still cold, right? Check this out. You see how hard that pulled back on that? That's why you see guys do that. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Catch you on the next one.